Well, good day, my fellow mammals. Um, I'm a couple of miles outside of Port Hardy, yeah, to the east, or to the west of me here. I'm to the west, or to the east. Uh, but it looks like it's uh, it for my trip. In the middle of the night last night, this piece of shit tent of mine decided to uh, break again. And I cannot repair that one. It's, the poles I have are smaller than that one, so I cannot replace that one. And it's missing too much of a piece to even try to flip around. So, I no longer have ground shelter. I have my hammock. But out of the past month, I've only been able to use it once because it's only once I found trees that were spaced enough for me to use it. Rest of the time, they're rather too close or too far apart for me to use. So I've used the tent, but now I don't even have a tent that I can use. And this is a brand spanking new tent. I'm sure, it's a year or two old. I bought it for this trip when I was getting ready. But first season in use, not even a month. And this is what the tent's done to me. It has completely failed. Completely useless tent. So I'm debating on just abandoning the abandoning the tent. Jam it in the woods, jam it on a rock, throw it in the water. No, I can't do that. Can't can't litter. Uh, but to buy poles, it probably cost me more for poles than it would be to buy a new tent. So, don't know what I'm going to do with it. The tent itself is okay, other than I did find a hole in the fly. Brand new tent, and there's a hole in the fly. And this thing hasn't been around the fire yet. I haven't had a fire near it. So, there's no reason for me to have one in it. So... Gotta wonder what uh, what the story is on this one. But this alpine mirroring, alpine mountaineering, jagged peak, or jaggered peak three. Uh, this one in particular sucks the hind tit because it's been a complete nightmare. Right. The third time or fourth time I used it, it broke the roof pole, the one that goes across the middle, and it broke three or four times within two days and that one's not repairable and I can't use the spare poles that are left from that to fix it because they're too short so unfortunately due to the equipment malfunction uh, my trip is now over I'm not too impressed uh, I bought that um, BioLite stove had it shipped up to Port Hardy, or Port, um, McNeil. And as I was loading up my kayak, uh, my new stove got hit by a golf cart. Uh, damaged the bottom of the pot. Not damaged the whole unit, but just damaged the bottom of the pot. I bent it out as best I could. But that kind of kills my warranty, and I hadn't even filled out the warranty form yet. But this kind of shows you what kind of luck I'm having. And it ain't good. But this is what I got to deal with now. Uh, all this fog. So I can't even pack up and head home. Uh, yet, because I can't see far enough to go. So I have two choices. So, well, high tide again is at um, 11.30 or so. So if the fog's lifted a little, I'm going to see about sneaking out. Uh, otherwise, I'll stay here for the, next, for the day and see about first thing tomorrow. Hopefully the fog is gone. If not, uh, I will follow the inside coast to Port Hardy and then follow the outside southern part of the bay around uh, to Port, Port Rupert um, depending on what time of the day it is 
uh, since I'm gonna have to go along, I don't go out of my way. Uh, I may just camp near there, and if it's early, just keep on moving if I can find a campground along the way, because it's only a day's paddle from here to there. Uh, well, with the tide with you anyway. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, unfortunately the culmination of this attempt of making it to Alaska. Um, it seems to have had a rocky, a very rocky start. Um, but uh, no, I'd just buy another tent and move on if I could, but I don't have enough tri trip funds set aside for that and completing my journey. Uh, wasn't counting on my new tent to pack it in. So, um, mildly disappointed. I thought if I could find a small enough little metal sleeve to slide over that in the time I have. Um, if I could, I would try to fix it and joy rig it, but I don't have faith in this tent to survive and to keep me sheltered for the next uh, 60 days. And the hammock, well, hey, I appreciate it, but I uh, appreciate it more when I can use it so far. That hasn't been the case. So, uh, I'm, uh, I lost one of my foam pads. It blew away last night or washed away underneath the kayak. Must have got some good waves. Got taken out with the tide. I knew I should have tied those things on. Well, I was planning on it. I had the rope for it, but I just never got around to poking holes in them. To do so. I hear voices out there. Somebody's out there in a boat. Uh, just heading towards the corner here. I can see a, a faint outline. But he's probably only half a mile and I can't see him. So uh, I got the BC Northern Ferry. I got uh, other big fishing boats and God knows else what's floating around here. So I ain't risking a crossing of that three or four miles across the strait here. So, uh, if I can't see far enough, I'm not going, so. But hopefully the fog burns off by high tide, which is uh, at 11.30 or something. So if it is, I will paddle off and uh, try to get to that little island south or east of Port Rupert. Anyway, for today. Otherwise, I'm here for the day. And if the wind changes to a southwest, I'm going to be screwed. So I don't want to stay here. So, as soon as I can get out of here, I'm out of here. But I'm out of here.